Okay. Hello. <laughs> I'm on summer break, but really, I graduated, so it's a forever summer break. Except I'm just stressed because I'm looking for an internship right now. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm just starting this video with that information, but... So, what did I even want to talk about on here? Oh, so, this is a new vlog. Don't know what it's gonna be. As usual, I don't think I ever start a vlog and know what I'm going to film in it, but I know for sure that I want to show you my little forest cards that I've been working on. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen all about them, so. Um, yeah, I want to show you those cards. I've just like printed these here at my house so they're not the quality that they're actually gonna be since I'm getting them manufactured, but I wanna show you the little illustrations because they're so cute and I love them. And also, you can kind of see it right here, but I got a PC. I built it with my friend and my boyfriend um, from scratch, so that was really fun and expensive, but yeah, so that's been another exciting thing <laughs> that's been happening for me. So yeah, let me show you that because I know a lot of you will have questions about my computer and want to see it. I really like seeing computers and stuff, so. Yeah, I'll show you that in my cards and whatever else happens to end up in this vlog. And yeah, I hope you like it. And here are my forest collectible trading cards. Unfinished. This is the first print test that I've done. Um, again, they're just printed at home, so the quality isn't what it's gonna be, the paper stock isn't what it's gonna be, but I just wanted to make sure that all the sizing and the contrast for all the design work is like working well. And then also, I've been playtesting it with my boyfriend to see that obviously the game works and yeah so I've I've had to like tweak the abilities and speeds and health and all of that as I kind of playtest it but here's Stackle he's a stone type you can see this is the type in the corner up here so a little mountain represents stone type he's a common type of card which is going to be most of the creatures Eight health with the little heart icon. Here's his name, illustration obviously that I did, a little description of the creature. The first stat is their simple attack, and then their speed is below. 
And then here's her special ability, which is kind of like the most fun that I've had, just because I've been like making up a little special power that they can do that kind of goes with the illustration. So he stacks rocks up on his head, and then he can use his attack to throw them the more that he has. So yeah, that's Stackle. He was the first creature that I drew of this whole game. And then here is Toxabubble. Some of these stats have already changed just because we played through it a few times and already noticed things. But yeah, so each time each time it's a new card, the symbol here changes so the Toxabubble is an air type. And then the little stat icon changes too. So now it's clouds for its simple attack, which is Bubble Blow. And then Bedtime Bubble is its special ability. So the bubble is supposed to be kind of like poisonous, and when you pop it, it uh, harms its foe. So that's the air type, and then this is the earth type. His name's Osmosis, which I thought was very clever by me. <laughs> but he's basically made of moss and like absorbs small things in its path. So kind of like Osmosis absorbing, you know, Osmosis. You probably get it. Anyways, yeah, he has Moss Ball and then Osmos, which is that absorbing. So that was Earth type. And then lastly, the fourth type is Fungi. So here's a little mushroom symbol again. Um, their simple attack is Spore Spray and then Fungi Flourish. So they like multiply exponentially and kind of bury their opponent basically and like trap them. So yeah, that's Spore Shroom really cute and then i've been working on artifact cards so that's like a little treasure chest symbol in the corner to signify artifact cards and then these two here are going to be environment cards i haven't created the symbol for them yet um but they'll be basically like the arena where your game takes place and then artifacts are things that you can equip to your creature or they might be one time use. So like this yellow forest fruit, I've also drawn this but it's not done so it's not on the card. It restores three health to any creature if you like one time play it. And then an acorn flail is something you would equip with a creature and it can use it instead of its attack. So yeah, this is going to be cute to draw too. I've only sketched it. I haven't drawn it yet. So yeah, those cards are a little in progress because I wasn't actually sure if I wanted to release them with the original creatures. But I decided each series is going to be a set of eight cards. So four creatures, two artifacts, two environments, and you can get them in a set. And also, I've been asked this question a bit. You'll be able to buy the whole series but it's not going to be like random packs like other trading cards or collectible things it won't be like a blind box sort of situation you will be able to buy the whole series and get one of each and you won't be having to worry about duplicates or anything like that um yeah so that's a bit about the game yeah i'm really excited and again a lot of this kind of behind the scenes and process work is on my patreon so definitely if you're interested You'll get like sneak peeks into new cards and like get to give your input as to how the game should work or what creatures I should make next through like polls and suggestions and things like that. And you just get to see the new cards early, which I think is always fun. So yeah, if you're really interested in this sort of like collectible game and how I'm designing everything, Patreon is where you want to be. But also my Instagram has all the cards coming out so you can follow me there too. Okay, so this isn't the best lighting because windows are behind my computer, so it's a little backlit. Tried to close my blinds. I'm not really sure if that helped, but here is my new little desk setup, which I love. It's so cozy and it has all my favorite colors. Obviously, I have the Studio Ghibli background from Spirited Away. That's just from Wallpaper Engine, if you're wondering, because it's adorable. And you probably want it if you're a Studio Ghibli fan. But yeah, here's just my keyboard and mouse. I kind of went for a white look 
ish um but a half of my pc is black so it's not it's not full white but i also got this desk mat which i constantly get questions about but i actually found out that where i got this from they actually steal all of the art so i'll try to link the artist or put it on the screen here so that you can follow the artist but i don't really want to promote this shop because the artist was trying to get her art off of that shop again since it was stolen so really sorry about that i know a lot of you ask me about this but yeah that's the situation with that so i've also got my switch back there of course i had to put some trinkets near my computer and then I have my washi tapes and here's my actual pc my desk my other desk is kind of a mess so just ignore that but yeah i mean it's tinted so you can't really see anything inside but i do have a lot of my specs on and also like better photos on patreon um that link is in the description also my specs are in like a saved highlight on my instagram profile but i just went more in depth on patreon and stuff like that and again with the photos too but yeah, this is what my setup's looking like. Come here, Jess. Come here. Come here. Hi. 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 <coughs> This is Gus. My roommates found him on the path. Sorry about the window being open. To a path to the forest near our house. And we're gonna try to keep him. Oh. So that's what I've been doing for two days, basically. Hanging out with Gus. And taking care of him. He's a very good kitty though. He uses a litter box every time already. And he sleeps well. It's a little scratchy and bitey, but that's normal. We think he's like five weeks old. We're around there, but we need to take him to the vet to see how old he is and if he has any issues and stuff like that. But he seems very happy. Like us? You happy? Ow, no biting. Well, yeah, I'll probably, you'll probably see a lot more kitten footage from now on. <laughs> Hi. I guess.
Okay, hello friends, it's voiceover Nicole, and you know what, I realized editing this vlog right now, I have like no personality <laughs> when I'm talking to a camera, and I know you just have to like get used to it and all that, but it's kind of painful to listen to me talk and just be so monotone, but let's talk about what's happening here. <laughs> so I made wooden pins for the first time, which they actually turned out so cute and yeah so you can see me here putting them on the backing cards that I ordered from Moo and I made the wooden pins with Zap Creatives which I really recommend them because I love how the pins turned out the print is great the wood is cute but there's duties at the door at least to Canada so just keep that in mind if you order also you've probably been looking at Gus his little toe beans and <laughs> messing with my pins and of course going in the entire bin so yeah that's something that I didn't really consider when I <laughs> had a kitten in my room he messes with all my stuff and after this clip I nicely organized all the pins on their backing cards in this little bin and when I came back in an hour Gus had just destroyed the organization and they were a mess in the bin. So, I mean, I don't know why I was surprised, but it's so cute to watch back that I'm not mad and I left all of it in because he's so cute. Look at his tiny paws. But anyways, besides Gus, these pins are in my shop by the time you're watching this. I ordered quite a few, so there should still be a bunch for you guys to get. I just have the two different designs that you see. One is this mushroom here with the plants, it's so cute, it matches a little backing card. And then the other one is a little chipmunk holding a pencil and a paintbrush, which is my favorite. It's kind of like my rendition on the I am artist thing, with of course a little plant on his head. There he is, so cute. Hi, Gus. What you doing? Kiss Gus. Hello, guys. It's June 16th and I'm in like the midst of getting everything ready for the next shop update, which ideally would have been the end of June, but maybe the beginning of July at this point. Either way, I want it to be um, within a few weeks. So it's a little difficult because I'm actually starting a graphic design internship. Um, in a few days, so for the last two-ish weeks of June, I'll be doing that. Luckily, everything's already drawn and like almost everything's ordered and on my way or has already arrived, so I should be okay with that, but I'm cutting in a little close with some things, so we'll just see when they come, but yeah, that's the goal for the shop update. It's a really big one, bigger than I intended it to be. I just like, kept adding things and obviously the forest cards in and of themselves are like a very big project for me to release. So yeah, but I wanted to show you some new things that will be in the shop update because hopefully I'll have this video out um, around the time that the shop updates so you can get everything that I'm talking about right now in my shop as you watch the video. So let me show you those things right now. Okay, so first of all, I, my desk is a mess. Oh my God, I was journaling and uploading stuff for this video actually. But, so this is 
the little forest packaging that I think I'm going to be doing. So it's handmade. I made it here just with my printer. So the front is um, a sticker, obviously. With the little Series 1 packaging. And then it's just a glassine bag. And I think I'm going to print some stickers. Some forest stickers for the back. But yeah, all your cards will be in this little pack. Which I have a bunch here that I've been playtesting. This is kind of the second round of alpha testing that I'm doing with my roommates and um, my boyfriend Adam. So yeah, these are kind of updated from the initial tests that I would have shown you in a vlog. And then also more fun stuff is in these drawers. So there's gonna be a sticker pack that comes with one sticker of each creature, which you can see them here. And then it also comes with that logo sticker, so five in a pack. Not sure on the pricing yet on that, just because I don't usually do packs of vinyl stickers, but those turned out super cute. And then these are actually mini sticker sheets, um, which are card size, so they're the same as the trading cards. And these will come in your pack for series one. It won't come in every series, it's more of just an exclusive a uh, little thing that's for the first series since this is the initial release. But yeah, I've been using my Hobonichi weeks lately actually. I've been keeping up with it really well. I have been um, tracking what I eat for every meal. Not for really any reason other than it's just fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of have been doing that lately. This is a cute spread. So yeah, I've been doing this just for, I write um, something that I like did that day, every day. And then I use a digital planner on my iPad using GoodNotes for actual planning and to-do lists and everything like that. So this doesn't have any to-dos in it. Yeah. Okay, exciting news. The washi tapes came and also the forest cards came. I took a bunch of footage yesterday actually of like unboxing everything and then I was packaging up some of the forest cards and um, sorting some of the washi and all that. So you'll see that, but the forest cards came, here they are, they're so cute, I'll show you a little um, close up in a minute, and then also the washi tapes came. So four new washi tapes will be in the shop. All of them are like traditional kind of 15 millimeter size, except for this is like a thin one, so it's eight millimeters. And they're all kind of naturey and foresty, like almost all my products are. So yeah, I'm really happy with these. I've just been like putting together the packaging for stuff and kind of organizing everything so that packing orders will be a lot easier.
Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the actual washi tapes, kind of more close up rather than the last shot. So here they all are with their little sticker labels that I designed, which I love. Um, and also I did swatch, here it is, of all the tapes in like their full patterns. So if you're interested in kind of seeing all the imagery on each one, there's County Summer, Folk Flowers, Woodsy Walk, and then the thinner 8mm tape is called Little Journey. But yeah, that's all the tapes, which I'm super excited about. I also made a little spread that I'm going to use in the product um, photography, which I'm actually about to do. And also just to you know post on instagram so this was my little weekly journal spread the potions stickers were featured in this side and then the cats on this side with all the new tapes and stuff and it's so cute i'm obsessed with the potion stickers it was so hard to not use like every single one on this spread i mean obviously the cats are cute too but the potions, I would, I could just use these on every spread that I make. Yep, that's about it for the washi tapes, though. Oh, they're all separate. Oh, nice. You can give them to people like that. No, I can't. They're in batches of 16, not 8. Oh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awful to open them. <laughs> cool. So vibrant. I know. They're so good. You gonna compare them? Yeah, I will. As for the forest cards, it's so nice to actually see them with real backs because all of my um, kind of testing sets have not been double sided. So this is my first time seeing the backs actually printed and they're so cute and vibrant and the finish on the cards is matte but it's like so smooth and nice. It feels very professional. And then here are the cards, let me lay them out. So here's the full set of cards, and I'm so happy with the print quality, like, the colors turned out so nice. And the fonts and everything are legible, and all the little icons look nice. I'm honestly just really happy with the colors, because when it comes to printing, it could be, like, a total mess. So, yeah. These are the forest cards, which I've been packing up. You'll probably see a clip, or you have seen a clip. Also, ignore my nails. <laughs> I picked them off during a meeting. Oh no. I'm gonna have to do the thumb trick where I paint my thumbnails so that I can hold all the products in the pictures like this. And it looks like I have nicely painted nails, but really it's just my thumb. Anyways, if you are on Instagram or have a shop, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the cards because I'm really happy with them.
Well, I was mid taking photos for the shop update. My phone died, so I thought I would show you what the middle of the process looks like for taking product photos. So I have this Cricut mat here, which is white on the other side, so I use that to bounce light back. I'm taking these at like 6 p.m., so the light is not great, but I don't really have any other option. Here are all the little washi swatches that I um, just like taped onto my desk for photos. I was using this little journal for props. The sticker sheets, I use like pencil crayons for props. I have a bunch of little acorns also for props. Um, things like scissors. I got like specifically nice scissors um, for products. I mean, I obviously use them too, but yeah, here are all the pencil crayon colors. I also have like acorns and stuff, more pine cones that I've collected little clay friends that I've made myself, these little embroidered patches. And yeah, so I've basically been taking photos for almost an hour and I'm almost done, but I still have the forest cards, which is kind of the main thing to take photos of. And I've never photographed cards before, so I'm not totally sure how I want to do it yet. But yeah, can't wait to clean this up. I think that's it for this vlog. I'm really hoping I've like edited most of it kind of as I went so that I can get it out as close to the shop update as possible. So I'm on the right track to have it out ASAP so that everything you see will be in my shop and there'll be um, enough stock and everything for you to grab what you want. But yeah, I think that's all for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. I'm trying to get like back in the groove of like remembering to pick up the camera and like film all the little things that I do as like running a shop. I am working full time right now in my graphic design internship. So it's a little tough, especially since I get home in the evening and there's like a small window of daylight where I need to do like any sort of photography I need to do and obviously filming um so yeah i'm really happy with the result of the vlog so far so hopefully it ends up being good and that you guys like it if you want to see more like behind the scenes stuff kind of like this but more so like the process of how i create my products how i'm like designing the cards and coming up with the creatures and all the in the process kind of stuff that's on my Patreon, as well as digital rewards like printables and wallpapers and also a little monthly sticker club where you can get stickers sent to your door every month. If any of that interests you and you want to support my art, that would be amazing. Um, it's just Nicole Josephine on Patreon or there's always a link in the description of my videos, but yeah. 
I hope you guys liked watching, and thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.